Good afternoon. <laughs> Today we are headed to Give Kids the World for the grand opening celebration of Henry Starlight Scoops, which is their ice cream location. Mm -hmm. Fun thing about Give Kids the World is they never say no to kids. So if kids want ice cream for breakfast, they can have it. Yeah, it's it's actually like a really um, cool way to do things because it just gives the kids a little bit of hope that they can kind of do the things that they want to do. There is no no limitation um, to the things that they can do there, which is pretty amazing. So we're going to head out and we're going to see a ribbon cutting and hopefully get a little tour of the village. Also, they said there's going to be a preview of something new. So let's head out and see what it is. Well, another thing that I don't know if we've actually mentioned yet is that they have opened the village. Yeah, they opened back up. Yeah, it's open to a lower capacity to keep everybody safe and make sure there's enough room for um, the physical distancing that needs to happen. But that is also something that's pretty amazing. Yeah. They, they were closed for so long and they were um, not able to grant wishes during the time that they were closed. And now they're open and they can. They can grant some wishes. Yeah. So we're really, really happy. <laughs> we're really happy that they're able to do that. And we're happy to be going there today. So yeah, let's go. All right, here's where we are headed. Give Kids the World Village. Like that it says, welcome home. The last time we were here was Night of a Million Lights. And all of these villas were decorated with Christmas lights. Millions upon millions of Christmas lights. So just to give an overview, Give Kids the World provides critically ill children and their families a week-long all-expense paid vacation to the village here in Central Florida, as well as most of their meals and theme park tickets. Mm -hmm. So they do great work. And we've done a full tour of the village before, and we'll put a link to that in the description down below. In that tour, we were able to show areas of the village that you might not normally be able to see. Also, what we'll put in the description down below is our videos from Night of a Million Lights, which was their fundraising event during Christmas while the village was still closed of just millions of lights. And you can kind of see they still have some of the lights up around the village that they haven't taken down yet. I'm also going to include the video where you participated in the Amazing Race Orlando, which benefited Give Kids the World, and it was such a cool um, video. I'm sure it was like an amazing experience, but yeah. it was such a cool video to watch. So check that out too. There's tons of fun stuff that have, that the village has done that we've been a part of. So we're just really honored to be able to to do so much with Give Kids the World. We love them. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard to see, but they're doing a little, a few words and some remarks about the design and the building of the. Henry Starlight Scoops, and this building right here is Henry Starlight Scoops. UFO is getting ready to take off. Jackson, do you remember Mayor Clayton and Miss Mary? You want to say hi to them? <laughs> so we're inside of Henry Starlight Scoops. Where the kids staying here and their families can come and get ice cream anytime they want to. Lots of different ice cream flavors too. Oh, I like that it's called Moon Cream. Moon Rock Crunch. So Henry Landworth, who is the one that started Give Kids the World, used to run the Starlight Motel out on the Space Coast. And then he became, he befriended Mercury 7 astronauts, as well as newsman Walter Cronkite. And they said that there is a reproduction menu from the Starlight Motel dining room they said to look at how much the lobster was. Boiled native lobster for $2.10. Sirloin steak for $2.95. This volunteer right here is making me a milkshake with chocolate ice cream. And then I got Reese's Pieces and M&M's in it. I think it'll be delicious. Here's all they offer. They offer a sundae, a galactic split, or milkshakes. These are the different flavors of ice cream that you can get. And then, here are all the different toppings that they have available. Or if the kids are feeling up to it, they can get a plain ice cream and then add their own toppings to it. Such as Dutch treat chopped vanilla cookie base. That sounds interesting. 
Rainbow sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, M&Ms, red, white, and blue sprinkles, Christmas sprinkles, autumn sprinkles, purple sprinkles, and chocolate moon rocks. Even though it's pretty cool today, my milkshake is melting pretty darn quick. Oh, are those chocolate rocks? Yeah, I got some chocolate moon rocks and put them in there too. Oh. Did you what? see what the name of the cookies and cream ice cream was? It was called it was moon, like Moonstone. Moon something explosion. Mm. Moon. I showed it in the video, but I forgot what it said. Theming. Yeah. I love the theming. What did you get? So I got a cookies and cream sundae with hot fudge and chocolate spring or rainbow sprinkles. Oh. And Jackson got a scoop of like a like a mini scoop of cookies and cream. But he, yeah. he's been enjoying mine a little bit more, so we're sharing. Now that we've had our ice cream and we saw the ribbon cutting, they said that the rides are open, so we should be able to get Jackson on this carousel. He loves a good carousel. Yeah. Fun fact about this carousel is that it is wheelchair accessible. So you can kind of see this turtle has a little ramp outside of it and you want me to show you how Yeah, doing? sure. This is how it goes if you want your wheel for your wheelchair. Lift up like that. And then we have the little ramp. Oh, you, so yeah. and then this comes out, you know, so a wheelchair can roll right up on there. Wow. And then once the wheelchair and people are all settled in, we go seat belt on, back this way, and then lock her down again. Nice. So, yeah. Okay. So wheelchairs, but it's also just a place for tired folks and, <laughs> and grandmas who don't really want to get on the horse, you know? Right. <laughs> we oh, have a turn. We have a snail, and you can so. see that oh, the nice. ground so level is the water. same. Yes. And there's so many. Who do you Ooh, yeah, what do you want to do? You want to ride on the zebra? What do you think? You want to be? A, you want to ride on the sparkly zebra? All right, buddy, are you ready? Are you so excited? Okay, ready? We're yeah. ready. So excited. Yay! <laughs> Two, three, here we go. Ooh. Do you hear it? You hear the music? Three, two, one. Oh, we're going. Yay. What do you think? What do you think, bud? Wow. Well, this oh, one goes up tall. Nice. Yeah. 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 Ooh, a dragon. Oh my goodness. Yay! Here he goes. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're stopping now, buddy. Wow. You did it. Look at this guy. Look at that. You did it, buddy. Oh, no, are you... Right? Are you sad that it's ending? I think he is sad. Jackson, don't worry. There's other rides, buddy. There are other, other rides. rides. Maybe we can ride a train? Oh. Ooh. Yay, we did it. What'd you think, bud? Did you love that? Did you like it? So Give Kids the World is refurbishing 140 units, and we're gonna see the new interiors in this unit right here. So this is how the villas currently look. And then right behind us here is some concept art of what they will look like. Refreshed carpets, refreshed chairs. Everything is so colorful. Yeah. I love how everything is gonna be like with the bright blues, they have the accents of yellow. I love this. Pretty awesome. To be honest though, like it looks really great now. Hello. <laughs> it looks really great right now, but they said that they just refurbished it seven years ago and it's time that they, because they're used every single day, um, seven days a week. So, yeah. but it they, looks, they still look great. And they said they were going to remodel or refurbish 142 units in seven days. Wow. So this is what the kitchen's area is going to look like. Oh, I like that. I know. That looks so nice. I love just the, how bright everything is. Yeah. So this is what it looks like currently. And you know that Get Kids the World loves purple. Oh, yeah. So I love that they're adding the purple in. And then let's see what the bedroom is going to look like. Or the bedrooms. This is the king bedroom or where the king bed would be. Ooh, this is nice. It's going to look like, like an upscale hotel. Look at this, buddy. Wow. Oh, I love that it's all that, like, um, it, what's that called? It's like that, like, the... Seagrass? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very, like, beachy kind of looking, this, yeah. this part. I like it, and I like this accent wall, too, with all these different, like, pieces of wood. Oh, yeah. 
this is going to be very nice. I mean, it's still nice now. Yeah, but you can see, like they said, this is they use it seven days a week, so there is some wear and tear. And they said it's time for a refurbishment. There's no concept art for the bathrooms. This bathroom looks great. Wow. This is the kids' bedroom. I think this is so cool. The oh yeah, they look like they like suitcases. Suitcases. Even the um, like the nightstand table. That's so neat. That's cool. I love how bright everything is, though. Yeah. Oh, is that Mayor Clayton? Look, Mayor Clayton. Oh, Hanging he's out. in. It's in a hot air balloon, and they're in the room. Very cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. And there is enough room in here for wheelchairs or anything like that and mm -hmm. also they have roll away beds too and this is the kids bathroom nice and big for wheelchairs yeah everything is 100 percent accessible the shower the tub the safe mm -hmm. area so i don't know if they're and we'll find out if they're going to be refurbishing the bathrooms oh it's like a jacuzzi tub for the kids that's so nice. They have all of the different types of vehicles that they have on display here. Oh, the village bakery just kind of drives around and gives out cookies. That oh, sounds like it. an amazing thing. <laughs> and they also have a hop on hop off Mayor Clayton's Express. So over here, there are two flat rides. You got Lori's Magical Flight, and then you've got Kelly's Sunny Swing. And one night during Night of a Million Lights, I rode Kelly's Sunny Swing. And we'll put a link to that video in the description down below, but also, also over here is JJ's Express, which is a train that runs around the mini golf course here at Give Kids the World. And they're actually taking it off the tracks tomorrow to do a full refurbishment on it. Get it all new paint job, new batteries and everything. And they're adding a storyline to the train. Right now it just kind of goes around and you can see the village. But once it comes back, it'll have a new audio sync storyline that has to do with paleontology and dinosaurs. It should be pretty fun. Let's see. Jackson's in here playing in the train now. He's Do it. Pull ring on it. Bell, ring the bell. Ring the Pull out, buddy. Like this. Did you hear it? He's, he's a big fan of just sitting in the seat. Do it. Pull on it. Yay! You, you did it. the bell, bud. You right did down. it. Yay. Give me a high five. High five. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Yay. Look at you in the train. Look at you in the train. Oh, oh. Watch your head. <laughs> Sorry. What do you think, bud? Are you coming out? Is there a step up there now? Well, look at you. You want to live in the train? Like, I live, I live in the train now. <laughs> you just like that the windows are here. There's nothing there. But, uh, you want my help? Here, come on. You want to come on? There's oh, a big step. Big, big step. You ready? Whoa. Whee! Whoa. I always thought this was so brilliant. You put your foot down. And out comes the sanitizer. Oh, nice. Feel like we're it's like going to Toy Story Land. Land, yeah. Jack in the Box over here. Inside of the building, Merlin sponsored this playroom here. It's Jersey Jackson's Playroom. And it's all about Lego. They have a creation station. Ooh. You can put your face in the bunny suit, buddy. Right? You see it, bud? Let's see. Who's this right here, buddy? Let's see if we can get a picture of you. Can I look you up? Who's this? Who's that bunny? No. <laughs> don't want to be in the bunny? You don't want to be in the bunny. Oh my goodness, there's trains. Look at that train, buddy. That's the train. Yeah. Wow. So this is a very large train set here at Give Kids the World. Is it like a train up there even? There's a Yeti! Well, it goes around the outside of the room. He loves it. There's also all these buttons around to run all the trains, push all the buttons. Oh. So, ooh, the lights oh. turn. It's nighttime now. So there's a man fishing. Where's the man fishing? Do you see? Oh, there's, okay, over here, there's probably, oh, there's a man fishing over there. Okay. I push the button. Oh, there he is. He's got, he's caught a fish. Look at the trip. Look at the trip. That's all. That's the train. What other buttons? 
Wave the flag. Which flag? Uh oh. oh the police is coming. Oh, he's pushing them all. <laughs> there's a plane going around? Wow. Holy macaroni. Oh, Let's see. Wow. Wave the flag. Oh, there it is right there. That was awesome. Look at how much fun that is. Ice cream truck. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Oh, the lights are on. So, right outside of the train room. We have Dylan's Den, where you can bowl. It's a little bowling alley. Well, you probably, I think they call this like candlestick bowling. Oh, is that what it is? There's like cool murals on the wall with skateboarding and snowboarding and cool. surfing. And air hockey too. Oh, air there. hockey too. Yeah. This is pretty amazing. And then there's also a whole game room over here. Yeah, there's tons of stuff to do all around the village and some of it's geared towards older kids which I think this area is more geared towards the older kids. This is pretty sweet. There's a pool table, Action. tabletop uh, like video games. Oh there's like a racing game over there. Snowmobiles. Is that what it is? Snowmobiles? Yeah. Oh and this is also where you would get your your clubs to do the putt putt. Pretty awesome. So we've showed you the Mark Dino Putt area in some other videos, but we're right outside of the game room, and this is the start of the seven-hole putt-putt course. Yeah, and Mark Dino Putt was all designed and fabricated by Universal Orlando Creative. Let's take a look at the yeah. first hole so we can show. Did you? Yeah. What did you see? Was that an airplane? I think so. Did, did we you hear see an the airplane? Sign? Yeah, oh, so they do have signs for um, kid, just so that kids are aware of different features of the of the course so this one has sounds that may be startling to those with noise sensitivity so everything is of course all inclusive at the resort and they want to make sure that everybody's aware of kind of what they're in for so this whole one it says compies are bird-like and rather small but always curious and on the ball this is the first hole let's see what do we got over here Ooh. Oh, so there's some um, little obstacles that you need to go through. This log. And then, of course, there are some dinosaurs hiding in the bushes. If you go through the log, something happens. Let me put him down for a second. Okay. Don't run off too far, buddy. Ah! ah. Oh, my. Ooh. What was that, Jackson? Was Did that you hear noise? that dinosaur? That was a compi. That was the compi dinosaur. They're bird like. <laughs> That's the log. Come on this way, bud. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Look at these dinosaurs. Yeah. There's a dinosaur. Yeah. That's a dinosaur. a dinosaur. Watch out for the hole. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Dinosaur That's friend. Your new best friend. Oh gosh. He keeps going like right next to the hole. <laughs> it's freaking me out. You coming, bud? Come on, come with that. You seeing that big dinosaur, buddy? So it's just really awesome all of the things that they have for the kids to do wow. while they're here. So not only do they have fun stuff to do at the theme parks. But then they have tons of fun stuff to do while they're just here at the village as well. Jackson is very excited to see this yellow triceratops. You know what's funny is because this course was built by Universal, <laughs> the social distancing markings are the same as the ones at Universal. Oh yeah, you're right. You oh going, my gosh, buddy? yeah, these are Universal uh, social distancing markers. But here is a look at the large yellow triceratops. So just outside of Amberville, which is where we were for the putt-putt area was back there. That's where the game room was and everything. Um, they have the, this is sort of like the front entrance. They have these library boxes all around Give Kids the World. And this is just an area where kids can take a book, leave a book, bring a book back to their room, have some uh, fun reading that they can do while they're here. I just, I love everything about this place. So we are actually headed around the corner from the front entrance here. We ran into somebody that said, hey, did you see the Triceratops out by the putt putt course? And we said, no, we didn't. Um, not the one that we just saw, not the yellow one. There's another one. So we're gonna look for it and hopefully show you guys something pretty cool. So if you all remember back to Jurassic Park where they find a sick Triceratops and Dr. Grant puts his head against it to listen to it breathe, and they found out that it ate some bad berries. We hear that this is the actual dinosaur from the movie. Which is impressive that it's just out here at Give Kids the World. Wow, and so when, when the train is operating again, 
you'll be able to see the dinosaur up close and personal on your train ride. Yeah. And with the new paleontology storyline, oh, yeah. this should t tie in. Oh. And we were also wondering like if it still breathes like it did in the movie because maybe when the train goes by it like, you know, like a triceratops breathing. I'm not, I don't know what a triceratops sounds like when they're breathing. My question is, where's the pile of dung? Right? Where is it? It's a good question. <laughs> I mean, somewhere. Right. It kind of looks like the triceratops went for a swim and then came out and was like, ah, I'm exhausted. Such a good swim. Here's a little bit closer look at the face. This is great. I hope that this is the dinosaur from the movie. It certainly does look like it. Like there are no other dinosaurs that are like realistic like this around. All the rest of them are kind of like this cartoony type stuff. So I don't understand why there would be any other type of dinosaur here. Like why they would have a different you know, other than the fact that this is the movie prop. So as we're walking through, I noticed that they still have some of the lights up from Night of a Million Lights. And we're assuming that they turn those on for the Christmas night here at the village. So every day of the week at the village is a different holiday. So that the kids that stay here can fit in a full years of celebration into a week. So they have Halloween, they've got Christmas. Mayor Clayton's birthday. Got Mayor Clayton's birthday, which that's when they celebrate every kid's here's birthday. Mm -hmm. And then they, they have, have a, a, like an American Idol night, like yeah, it's Village called Idol. Village Idol, and then they have the world's largest Candyland game. Yeah. So. Which oh, in the video where we take the full tour, um, please check that video out because there's so much more to see that we're not going to be able to show you today. Um, we show you the full game board. It's pretty amazing. Right. Oh, another thing we should mention. You've heard us mention Mayor Clayton's name. Mm -hmm. He is the bunny that is the mascot of Give Kids the World. His house is actually right back there in that garden. Well, oh, you yeah. can see it right there. That yellow one right there is Mayor Clayton's house. And he's married to Miss Mary. So, just to give you guys some, some knowledge of the village. Mm -hmm. He's the mayor. He runs the place. Yeah, and right now we're going to go into this building, which is being converted into a STEM lab. This was the Gallery of Hope. And they're going to convert it into a STEM lab. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Wow. That's a robot head. Oh. And they already have a Delta, a Delta Maker 3D printer running. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. See this Polygon Bowser? We got a Yoda head over here. Little Maker Bots. And then I'm assuming this is probably like a pencil holder. Actually, it's a planter. A planter. You can see that there's little, oh, little holes. holes. It's actually for succulents. Gotcha. Oh, cool. You know who would really like this planter? Wanda Maximoff. Ooh, yeah, they have some of the concept art up for what the space will look like when it's done. Are, this is art. This, be, this reminds me of Epcot, like 1980s Epcot. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Are these the things that are inside of the BB-8? That's exactly what they are. Ooh, They're a Sphero. Spheros. Oh. Yeah. You can actually program them with an app on your phone to do all kinds of things. Mm. You can just drive them around or you actually can code programs for yourself and just by dragging and dropping and putting different instructions. So it's a great way to in introduce kids to coding and uh, programming. That's oh. awesome. They're also going to have a gaming area that focuses on adaptive gaming. So they'll have all the different adaptive controllers so that any kid that wants to can still play video games. Of what the 50s and 60s Tomorrowland type of Reminds me of Mr. Tom Arnold. Yeah. What'd you yeah. say his name was? Dr. Irwin. Dr. Irwin. Yeah. And he's going to be kind of like the receptionist. The one that greets you as you come into the space. This is currently the Gallery of Hope. And it will be turned into Mayor Clayton's Wonder Lab. And it's kind of like right across from... Henry Starlight Scoops. Henry Starlight Scoops. I have to say, I'm, I'm really happy with the way that they are like adding some more like technologically advanced things oh yeah i think that's really awesome because kids um you know are looking for that kind of stuff yeah and it's cool that they're showing them so many different adaptive like ways to do things like play video games and, right. and work with the robotics and that's amazing yeah so that area will focus on stem yeah or steam depending on where you're from oh right which is so important yeah all right, we're going to head into the Castle of Miracles. And the neat thing about the Castle of Miracles, and you'll notice this right away when you walk in, is every single kid that has stayed here gets a star in the Castle of Miracles. And there are a lot of them. 
So each star represents one critically ill child that was able to stay and have their wish granted here at Give Kids the World Village. The stars are, there's just so many of them all over the place. And then you go into Star Tower. Even more stars. kids have stars in the Castle of Miracles, so um, I don't know, Hope, hopefully we showed them and you got to see them. Yeah, so there's also a little playground in here too. Ooh, are you going inside to like the honeycomb? You in there with the bees? Look at all the bees. Look at all the bees. Oh my goodness. There's all kinds of little doors all over the place too. Is it not open? No. Oh, that one opened and it lit up the light up here. Oh, yeah. What does this one do? It's, a it's a little mirror. What happens if you look inside this spot? What do we see in there? I don't know. A little frog. So we're headed into Brooks Surf Shack to learn a little bit more about the new pirate ship stage that they are building here at the pool. They have some concept art of what the new pirate ship will look like. Wow, that looks awesome. So this is where they do all of the stage type stuff where they would do like Village Idol or any sort of stage productions that they do at the village will happen here on this stage. And you can see they're already well underway at the remodel. And there's another merhorse. Oh yeah. They love their merhorses here. We didn't show that, but on the carousel, there's a merhorse. Oh, I thought we did show it. No, because we rode it oh. a second time and we didn't actually show us riding it the second time. Dang, it was really cool. Yeah, and we rode right next to a merhorse. <laughs> Is that correct terminology, merhorse? Yeah. Also, looks like squirt, doesn't it? Wait. Would it just be a seahorse? A seahorse. But it's not. It's, it's, a di it's different. It's like what a mermaid would ride. Yeah, yeah. How does a mermaid ride a horse? I think they ride seahorses. Side saddle. Oh. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Give Kids the World Village to see the ribbon cutting grand opening of Henry Starlight Scoops. Fantastic organization. The ice cream was delicious. Well, it was something that we've been looking forward to opening for such a long time. And coronavirus kind of put everything to a halt. So we're so happy that things are getting a little bit back to normal and, and they were able to finally open. Yeah. I just, I think that's pretty awesome for the kids that are coming now that the village is opening slowly but surely too. Yeah. So. And it was fun to watch Jackson on the carousel. Oh, he loved it. Yeah. And it was neat to see that dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Yeah. And I'm very excited to come back and ride the train when the train is newly revamped and and refurbished. And then hopefully we can get an even better look at the dinosaur. Oh yeah. What do you think? Definitely. Yeah. So there you have it. A fantastic day at Give Kids the World Village. But with that being said, we are off. We will see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to help. And as with every time that we come to Give Kids the World, our Now It's Time to Help focuses on Give Kids the World Village. So we'll put a link in the description down below so that you can learn more about Give Kids the World and maybe do some volunteering here. Donate if you can. They're a great organization and they're doing great work. Mm -hmm. So be sure to check out the link in the description down below. And thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm.